30 students graduated from the American Belizean Technology and Education Center and received certificates in programs like information technology, sewing, and customer service. While the program prepares students with skills to go into the workforce, it is hoped that it will have an even greater impact on society. What this program is about is by, it's called the Central, it's called CASI, that is Central American Regional Security Initiatives. Uh, what the State Department, along with the Embassy in Belize, have come about that to sway Belizeans away from the criminal activities and other activities. We need to provide jobs for them, but for them to be able to do the jobs, we got to be able to enhance their skills. Hence, we decided to come up with uh, three type of three subdivisions and skills that we thought will will be good for the Belizeans. Before we start our program, we do a job readiness training. In that, we show them how to interview for jobs, how to present themselves at jobs, how to look people in the eye and, and express themselves. To those who we feel that need to be upgraded as far as the English and doing the writing, we work with them in those areas. So that's what our program is so unique. We try to, then we build relations with other companies, and then we ask those companies, what do you think our students need to know? So they come in and they tell us what they need to know and we try to teach that to our people. Students enrolled in the eight-week programs say that it has prepared them for employment. It was a program that I found over the years, but, but while coming here, um, I, w I thought it was going to be just something, you know, but coming here, it was a great experience. They teach us all the basic stuff we need to know, um, things that we didn't know. Um, they gave us the full rundown and everybody is great and yeah, it, was, it was a great eight weeks and fun at the same time. Do you think you're ready for a, a job, a permanent job? Definitely, yes, Mom. Um, I, all the equipment and the certificate will help me as well. IP program is basically graphic designing, banner designing. Um, we did well web building and yeah, that's basically what we did. Having fun, interacting every day with each other. So what motivated you to join this program? Well, um, my mother did the sewing program and she told me about the IT and from I was at high school I liked IT and then like the Photoshop gave me a lot of uh, motivation to do it. You know. So you definitely learned new things? Yes, I guess I did and winning the banner competition showed me a lot because coming into this um, Photoshop and those programs was something that was a little bit difficult for me but winning that showed me that I have a lot of potential in it and that is what I'm going to pursue now. So you believe that this program prepared you adequately for the job force? Yes, yes. Basically, yes, it does because like every day you come to school, um, to the class, you go through different scenarios and when someone brings you something, what to do, how to fix it. So, yeah. So what's next for Elizard? Are you going to look for a job? Yes, mom, right now it's out in the workforce. So basically just hope someone, you know, hire me. So before you started the program, what were you doing? Um, I was a... Uh, I graduated from IT vet, becoming a um, certified chef. Okay. So, yes. And now you added IT to your resume. Yes, well, <laughs> adding graphic designing and web building to my resume. Washington says Abtech has partnered with organizations to offer internships to some of the newly trained men and women. We've already collaborated with uh, a company, a web company, a computer company that take our students for internship purposes and to, for them to move forward. Uh, as far as the customer service and sales, we have signed contracts with a couple of companies right now that will bring them in and take a look at them. And if they do well, they continue to work with those companies. So in tailoring, uh, they are open to get jobs in different areas. And also what we also do is, uh, which I didn't mention, which I should have earlier, we, do, we give many grants. We may pick about three students after a little business course with me. But we pick three students and give them many grants so they can help do their own little business. The free program targets anyone interested in learning new skills, but Washington says that a special emphasis is put on vulnerable groups. Our group is a diverse group. We have some people that went to college, but most of our people did not complete high school. Most of them. And most of them are those people we thought is hanging in the streets that have no other opportunity to them. So we bring them in here, we train them, give them a very good training, and they can go out there and get jobs for themselves. Abtech hopes to expand the program to other parts of the country, including Stan Creek. It is already available in Orange Walk, and students are invited to sign up. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.